Blessings, beloveds. December brings us two potent gateways, the first presenting on December 4th through the 11th, and the second on December 25th through the 29th. Let us explore the purpose of each. December 4th through 11th. Focus, linking the grounded grid systems, including the human heart grid, with the unity consciousness and crystalline grids of the fifth six-dimensional new earth. Apparently a merge is occurring, which is fantastic. After two years of marinating the old grids with new light, our grids are now carrying more new light than old light frequencies. With the cosmic wave trigger on the 7th, we will be firing the golden crystalline diamond light of the new human and the new earth as preparation for the intense upgrades and energetics of 2015. The planetary merge is stepping up and the timeline shift of last October is doing its work quickly and effectively. Visualize this merge as you work. December 25th through the 29th. Focus. I was shown two images recently. The first was myself on a light ship, learning to pull in clouds around the ship to mask the shine, and dropping golden spirals of the DNA helix, like a gateway spinning down to the ground. The second was DNA spirals serving as ladders to the higher Gaia during this passage. Gatekeepers, we will be calling forth the complete activation of the golden race DNA templates within major sacred sites to align with the portals and stargates opening during this gateway, December 25th through the 29th. Feel free to connect with the master I am templates of Mount Shasta. Let the light work for you. A strong uptick in solar cosmic Christ light is expected by the end of the month. We experience this growing vibration as divine love, purity, and inner harmony. The external collective tends to be triggered or contract or be confused by this light. It sets the old polarity pendulum swinging the opposite way to balance the magnetics. However, you may have noticed the pendulum does not take as many with it as it swings to the negative to balance the positive. Now it is a multidimensional pendulum with many directions, many facets. Duality is disintegrating as thousands in service demonstrate new light dynamics of neutrality, compassion, and divine love. Expect the unexpected, beloveds. Don't look for evidence of our progress in old programs. Focus on the new light and be diligent in implementing all that it reveals in your own life stream. Typically, the holidays and end of the year attract strong light since so many, awakened and unawakened, celebrate, pray, gather, worship, and raise their vibration with gift-giving and assisting others during the holidays. The unified activity of the holidays and New Year's resolutions creates a magnetic which attracts light to intentions. Now that we are in zero-point dynamics, the energy of that collective experience becomes stronger. Gatekeepers and grid workers use this vibration to support your energy work. Gateways become very amplified when the collective consciousness is in resonance. The Unknown Zone My Pleiadian team says that our hard work and adjustments were just a warm-up for these energies that we are about to experience. We are about to receive energies which are unknown to our body and energy fields. It is difficult to predict what they will do to some forms of consciousness. The slow and steady progress of ascension will be triggered into a higher gear. It feels like a combination lock, all the factors finally aligned for a great unlocking of the unknown. It is a time to stay centered with an open heart, simplify and breathe into the unknown. We'll need to experience divine flow in a brand new way as we enter the unknown zone. 
hands on the heart, breathe, say thank you for the ascension. There have been many adjustments to the physical this year as the revelations unfolded. This continues, beloveds. Personally, there have been many moments when I wondered if my body could handle the new light. I am in the middle of another round of skull changes, and the nervous system, meridian, DNA activations have been exhausting. However, along with the physical adjustments comes an amplification of ease and grace and a profound letting go while still engaging sensation as we walk between worlds. My experiences with the higher realms have become much more pronounced and often bizarre as my consciousness merges with my team. A powerful magnetic shift was felt here just before the Sedona quake this week. I expect more of that as Gaia's higher and lower grid systems merge. Remember, energetic intensity is planetary as well as personal. Send harmony, grace, peace, divinity, divine love through all particles of Gaia, the kingdoms, the elementals, and beloved humanity. We can take advantage of our current clarity before a vastly different experience comes upon us during the equinox to blood moon gateways next year. Gratitude to all who are participating in this incredible shift and the ascension. As weary, tired, or wired as way showers may be, we are receiving the highest accolades in the higher realms. Know it, feel it, own your divine service. <laughs>